Hi guys. Um, so this is uh, April 3rd. Happy Friday. This is going to be your first art lesson at home. Um, just wanted to say that I miss all of you and I hope you're all doing well. Um, so we're going to be talking about animal rights and how we think animals feel in different situations. Um, some questions that I want you to think about. Um, if you are able to, I would love if you could discuss these questions with someone at home. If not, um, just think about them with yourself. Um, what rights do animals have? Um, a right means um, <clears throat> something that they deserve or need. Um, what rights do humans have that animals should also have? How are animals' rights and human rights alike? And then three, is it fair to keep an animal as a pet or in a zoo? Um, so this was developed in Australia. It's called the Five Freedoms of Animal Welfare. We're going to watch this now. Animals are part of our everyday lives, and even though we might never ask or thank them for it, they help us in so many different ways. But what might animals ask of us if they could speak? Many professionals working with animals think they would ask us for just five things to help them to survive and lead comfortable, contented lives. We call them the five freedoms. The first freedom is the freedom from discomfort. Like humans, all animals need to feel comfort. This is Dia. She has a cozy and safe place to sleep. Somewhere cool to go when she's too hot in the sun. And somewhere dry to shelter when the monsoon rains begin to fall. And just like Dia, animals need to stay sheltered and safe, with lots of room to move around freely, as exposure to the heat of the sun for long periods can kill them. That's why we must never tether animals without any shade. And why we should always let street cats and dogs sleep in the shelter or shade of a tree or building to escape the hot sun and heavy rain. And why we mustn't keep animals like hens trapped in tiny cages either. They need plenty of room to get up, lie down, turn around and groom themselves if they're going to have a happy life. The second of our five freedoms is freedom to express normal behavior. Normal human behavior might include living with our families, spending time with our friends, or talking and playing. This is Arav. Some of his normal behaviors include playing outside with friends, watching TV, and reading in his room. But he especially likes spending time and having fun with his family. And just like Arav, animals love to have fun and spend time with their loved ones too. Like street dogs, they love to bark, run, roll around in the dust, and curl up to sleep with their friends. So we shouldn't throw stones or shout at them because they're just having fun. After carrying heavy loads all day, donkeys and horses love to roam freely and graze with their families as they get distressed when taken away from them for long days. Some elephants are captured and forced to transport heavy loads or carry tourists through busy traffic in towns and cities. They're taken far away from their families, never to see one another again. This makes them very sad. Cows produce milk for their babies, but very often the babies are taken away when they're very young. This is all so that we can keep the milk for ourselves. Cows aren't milk machines. They too just want to love, feed and take care of their babies like all mums and dads. All animals enjoy being with their families. We should always give them time to rest and spend time with them and wherever possible keep them in their natural environments. The third of the five freedoms is freedom from fear. Human beings cannot be happy and content when they are afraid. Deer is afraid of loud noises, the dark and when other people are cruel and unkind to her. Luckily, she knows her parents, teachers, and friends are always there to look after and protect her. A lot of animals don't have anyone to protect them when they're afraid. 
Monkeys and elephants are sometimes beaten with sticks or starved when humans try to train them to do work or tricks to entertain tourists. They live in fear of this cruel treatment and end up becoming afraid of human beings. There are always lots of fireworks and crackers exploding in the air and very loud music during Diwali and as part of marriage celebrations. All animals get scared by the loud bangs and fiery explosions. It's very important for animals to have a quiet, safe place they can escape to and hide in. The fourth of the five freedoms is freedom from great pain. All humans and animals suffer pain at some time, but when humans are in pain, we can seek help. Unfortunately, that's not the same for animals. When Arav is injured or unwell, his family take care of him and give him some medicine or take him to a doctor or hospital to make him better. Black horses are said to be lucky, which is why sometimes their shoes are removed by people who think they are lucky charms. This can happen several times in a single day and it causes them great pain and injury. And sometimes when street cows are hungry, they find empty plastic bags which smell of food or have a little food left inside. They are so hungry they eat the plastic but cannot digest it. The plastic just stays in their stomachs, making them very ill and causing great pain until they can no longer eat and they die a very painful death. 80% of the cows that die at Tolfa die because they have eaten large amounts of plastic and their stomachs no longer work. This is why we mustn't throw food containers, drink bottles or vegetables in plastic bags onto the streets. We should dispose of them safely so the animals cannot find them. The last of the five freedoms is freedom from hunger and thirst. Without food and water, all human beings and animals will die. Dia needs to eat and drink to give her energy to grow and work and to keep her healthy and strong. She gets weak and very tired when she is really hungry and thirsty. And it's the same for animals. All animals need to have water available to them all day, especially when it is very hot. Otherwise, they will become dehydrated and feel unwell very quickly. After working hard for their owners all day, elephants, donkeys, camels and horses might need time to rest and recover before eating and drinking. So please don't remove their food or water because they'll want it eventually. We can all do something, however small, to make sure that the animals around us enjoy their five freedoms. The five freedoms help all animals to live healthy and contented lives. So here are the most important things to remember to take good care of the animals around us. Make sure we leave out water and scraps of food for them. Never disturb sleeping animals. Don't frighten them or be cruel to them or hurt them in any way. Provide some shade and shelter for them whenever we can. Never throw plastic things into the street or where a cow may find it. Always allow animals to behave naturally. Don't keep them in very confined conditions. Never use animals for entertainment. If you see an animal which has been injured or is suffering in any way, please contact your local animal hospital for help. The Tolfa Animal Hospital will send their rescue vehicle to take... After watching that video, I just want you to think a little bit about um, animal welfare and the rights of animals. And next, um, what I would like you to do for your art project today is choose an animal from a local shelter website. So you might have to um, type in these um, into Google, type these um, Northwoods Humane Society or St. Francis Animal Rescue. You can choose anyone um, in Minnesota that you can find also. So you can do a little bit of research yourself if you'd like. Otherwise, these are two good one, good websites that you can just use that I have found. Um, using any drawing materials you have, I'd like you to create a drawing or a painting if you have paint supplies at home of the animal that you choose off one of these websites um, or find yourself. And usually there's a little, um, there's a little, a little bit of text or wording that describes a story about the animal. Um, it would be good if you read that or had someone read it to you at home. 
Um, and then lastly, I would love to see your completed work. So send me a photo of your artwork to um, my email address, which is k at mylila.org.